Hey everyone, welcome to MuseThemes.com. This is Ashton Bingham here with another quick tip video. Today I want to talk about mobile breakpoints and address a quick little rule of thumb that I believe will assist with a lot of the support tickets that we see come in regarding this issue. We get a lot of inquiries about the lowest breakpoint on any given site. Now in many of our themes you'll see a smallest breakpoint of 320, which is pretty common and does well to be inclusive to just about any smaller mobile browser that may be viewing the site. But on many of our other themes, you may see a smallest breakpoint sitting at 480. Now, if you're designing a site or a theme with 480 as your smallest breakpoint, there may have been a time when you've experienced some weird appearance when viewing your site on a mobile device, such as unwanted horizontal scrolling or elements bleeding off the page boundaries, even though it doesn't appear that way in Muse. Well, this is attributed to how fluid breakpoints interact with responsive elements. And there are a few rules of thumb to keep in mind to prevent these inconsistencies. Now, first of all, we can see that our 480 breakpoint is set to fluid width, indicated by this icon here with the white box and the outward pointing arrows. Lack of this icon would indicate fixed width. Now, here's the important thing to remember about mobile devices. Even though our smallest breakpoint at this time is 480, there will still be devices less than 480 pixels wide that may be viewing your site. So we need to pay very close attention to the behavior of these elements when this layout is shrunk lower than 480. And there's a couple ways to do this. A cool tool here in Muse, even though we don't have a 320 breakpoint, we can still see the outline of a 320 presence. So we need to make sure that everything on our layout is either narrower than 320 pixels or will shrink down as such. For example, let's look for some items on this page right now that are wider than 320. The first obvious one here is our hero image. We can see that this image stretches the full 480 breakpoint. However, this image is set to full width, meaning that it will limit itself to the full width of the browser at any given time. So we're actually safe with this one. But now how about this text box? Well, we can select it and we can see that it's a little bit outside of our 320 width. Thankfully, our designers of this theme have this text box set to responsive width, which you can see up here in the resize menu. Now let me go ahead and preview this in a browser. There. Now I'm going to shrink this down to our smallest breakpoint. There we go. Now as I scale my browser even smaller than the smallest breakpoint, we can see that text box is responsively adjusting its width so that it doesn't ever exceed the page boundaries, which is very important. Now let's jump back into Muse. I'm going to select this text box and set the resizing option to none. Now we're working with a text box whose width will not change responsively. So let's see what happens. I'll do another preview. And here we can see as I move the width of the browser around in this breakpoint, we can see that the text box isn't budging. And at this common mobile 320 width, this is the appearance we're getting. Text bled off the screen and in many cases we'll get unwanted horizontal scrolling as well. So switching back to Muse, that's something we need to keep in mind for all of our elements. Now I'm going to scroll down the page all the way to the bottom, and we can see our contact form here. Now this theme was designed prior to the release of responsive contact forms, so this could easily be swapped out for a responsive form if you desire. But with this non-responsive contact form in mind, or any element with responsive limitations, you can see how it's been sized down to accommodate this imaginary 320 breakpoint, not our main 480 breakpoint, because doing so would cause it to bleed off the page. I'll also note additionally, if you're working with a fixed width mobile breakpoint, then you're even more limited, because now your items won't shift responsively at all, which would then make your goal to have to size anything that's not full width to fit smaller than 320 pixels no matter what. So I hope this makes sense and possibly helps give you some troubleshooting roadmap if you're having mobile layout difficulties. But of course, if you're still running into trouble, don't hesitate to reach out to us and support. Have a wonderful day.